So you're you're getting ready to do Leo from Toledo. Yeah. Correct. So when are you filming this? Uh, in about. Uh, filming it in about a month. Seven and weeks. And a half. Yeah. Yeah, eight weeks. Is there like a log line you can share? Yeah, Mel plays a guy who is suffering from a kind of waking dementia, uh, which is he blacks out, but he's he's conscious, he's awake, and then he just loses time. So it's written in the script that he just loses time, which is kind of great if you're a screener. I can go, I don't know how I'd get past this bullshit. Oh, he'll just black out. <laughs> uh and he basically is living as this guy named Leo Ward, and he has a encounter with these uh, kind of local, let's call them local toughs, and he wakes up in the hospital, and his girlfriend, who's a sheriff, is staring at him, and he's handcuffed, and he rolls his the admittance bracelet over, and he's it says Conrad Varick, and Conrad Varick was his name when he was a hitman for the Kansas City mob, and he's in witness protection now. And he's just given up the ghost. So they know he's alive. They're coming for him. It's Mel Gibson as like Martin Riggs in his 60s. It was me and, Fr and Frank playing a Anderson Cooper-like hitman. <laughs> to, to come and get him. Yes. And, and By the way, I'm saying that so Frank commits to looking like an Anderson Cooper-like hitman. It's on right there, bro. No, They're filming right it. No, I want to look exactly. And when he like gives it. me shit, I'm gonna go. Remember? No, no. We were at the screening, I'm gonna, I'm and I gonna, said Anderson. Cooper. I, he's handsome. I like Anderson Cooper, just almost as much as Brad. Silver hair. Yeah. So you got. Where are you guys filming this? Uh, is anybody from Ohio? Scott, where are we filming this? Ohio, or Louisiana. Ohio, Louisiana. And you have more than 27 days. No. Uh, 26. Do you How many days, no, Scott? Kidding. Scott. 35? We have 30. Yeah, but it's much... We have 30, dude. It's, Come on. It's not as much action. 